What do we mean by rain? What do we mean by his presence? What do we mean by rain? Five things. Number one, when we say this is a season of rain, we mean a favor. We mean favor. When we say, and God shall give them rain, we mean he shall favor them. Can I say something? Favor is unfair. Favor picks this one and rejects this one. Ah, you didn't get me. Favor is very unfair. Favor can pick you even out of your qualification. When favor comes, no one can deny what you are to receive. Ah, you didn't get me. Favor goes beyond the mind of man. Favor goes beyond the standards of man. When favor comes, your status does not matter. When favor comes, how far you have learned does not matter. When favor comes, Ah, we are in a moment of favor, a shifting in the air. I declare in the name of Jesus, may somebody in this meeting be favored of the Lord. When favor comes, when we say in his presence, we just mean walking in his favor. I want this favor. Number two, very fast. When we say the rain, we mean freshness. Freshness. There is this something that makes your spirit fresh. Ah. Daudia Kasema. Oh, Yesu. Mungu nijaze. Mafuta mabichi. Mafuta mabichi. Yani ule upako. That, that fresh anointing. That fresh anointing. And I pray in Jesus name. But can I say this? Most of us have been operating on residual anointing. Ule upako wa last year. Jungali nao sasa. Ule upako wa last month. Jungali nao sasa. But I tell you something. Our God wants to refresh you every day. Every day. Every day. He says my masses are new every morning let us not desire to bank we are in season where most preachers bank on the experience ah oh my god they 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 they, they, they they, they never seek God anymore. They bang on. They, they have preached for, for 20, 10 years, 20 years. So they, they operate out of experience. But I pray in Jesus' name, may you experience freshness. When you are called to serve every day, let God anoint you afresh. Mafuta ma beach. Mafuta ma beach. Truth be told. Kuna watu wengi ni kama lile junguku na junguku huwa likosi nini Kuna watu wengi they are serving God not out of current revelation not out of today revelation they are serving God out of what they had Can I tell you something in the Bible a good example is Eli Eli came to a point the Bible says his ears became deaf and his eyes became blind. He, he, he stopped hearing from God. He stopped seeing, but he had experienced. When, when Samuel was in his house, the Bible says one night Samuel had somebody call him. So he woke up, went to Eli and asked him, Papa, are you calling me? He said, no, go back and sleep. So Samuel went and slept. Again, he had a voice. He came back, Papa, are you calling me? No go back and sleep then he told him a third time I have experience I have heard him before I know how he speak when now you hear that voice <laughs> this man this man advised Samuel out of experience not anointing not, not vision, not revelation he told him when now you hear him third time tell him Lord I am here. Speak. Your servant is listening. He took that from experience. He used to hear God. And there are people who are serving God out of experience. And now they don't have freshness. I pray in Jesus name. In this season of his presence of freshness. May the Lord fill you afresh. I say a better amen. Let there be fresh anointing in the house. Fresh power in the house. Fresh glory in the house. 
Somebody say amen. Number three, rain means abundance. He told them, where you will plant and you will harvest. Kuna watu hupanda na wanashindwa kuvuna. Can I say this? Just because you planted does not guarantee that you will harvest. I wish you got me. But God is telling them, the season you are getting in, whatever you plant, you shall harvest. There are people in this church, you have been toiling, you have been toiling, you have been planting. It appears as though nothing is coming forth. I declare by the word of God, in this revival season, may you begin to harvest. I say may you begin to harvest. Number three, when we say of, we, of the rain, we mean fruitfulness, being fruitful, increasing, multiplying. God, when he, he, when, in, in Genesis, when God made man, he gave man a powerful command. He told him, go, increase, multiply, subdue, rule over. Now I've learned one thing in ministry. Multiplication is one way of dominion. The more you multiply, the more you rule over. You dominate. Even in this nation's politics, the bigger your tribe is, the higher the chances of ruling. Uh -uh, are we here? Uh -uh, am I from planet Earth or planet Mars? Are we all on Earth? Even in this country, the bigger you are, the more you are able to dominate. In the things of God also, when God wants you to domineer, he multiplies you. Ah, you didn't get me. He multiplies you. When you become 5,000, 10,000, wherever you go, you begin to domineer. The more the weeds multiply, the more the crop is suppressed. You didn't get me. You didn't get me. So if we want to, to rule and, 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 and domineer, God told Adam, go and multiply. This season, go and multiply. If you have got one shop, may it, how do you rule with one shop? You can't. But God must give you grace for it to multiply. From a shop, you become a wholesale. From a wholesale, you become a supermarket. Then you open one. Then you open two. Then you open three. The more you multiply, you begin to rule and domineer. May you receive the grace in Jesus' name. May you multiply. May you begin small, but end great. Can I hear an amen in the house? And number five, when we say a season of rain, we mean a time of breakthrough. A time of breakthrough. And there, I will take some time. Breakthrough. 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 Breakthrough is a sudden moment. And suddenly... You have heard people say, this was my breakthrough song. This was my breakthrough sermon. It means you've been doing the same thing. You've been preaching. But a day comes when the gates of earth and the gates of heaven, where you operate, oh my goodness. Jacob, Jacob went somewhere as he was going to see the, the uncle Laban. And the Bible says he reached somewhere and he got tired and he placed some stones and he slept on it. And the Bible says, and he saw the heavens open and he saw the angels ascending and descending. When he woke up, he said, wow, I didn't know that where I was sleeping was the gate of heaven. You can operate in a place where we have the gate of heaven. Where the angels ascend and descend as they minister unto you. When we say breakthrough, is when the, 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 the heavens agree with what you are doing. Then you break forth. Kuna wasani wengi. Wameimba nyimbo. No one has heard them. Then one day, anaimba koimbo kamoja. And from nowhere, anakuwa, inakuwa hit. Now, from that one song, you now begin searching. Is there any other? 
you people. From that one breakthrough moment, from that one sermon, my, my son, then we'll go to Google. And no, does he have any other? So there is a moment of breakthrough. Breakthrough introduces you. Can I say this? David had won many battles, but no one had seen him. He killed a bear. It's only the sheep that had a testimony. But you know what? David has done something. He killed a lion. It's only the sheep that knew, by the way, he saved me. No human being was there. Then God, in his design, made, he made a plan. I know people hate Goliath. Let me tell you something. Goliath is a doorway to a breakthrough. Minus Goliath, no one will know about David. So Goliath was strategic. After, you know, thank you Jesus. After Samuel anointing David, he's anointing David, and King Saul is still on the throne. There can be no two kings. So God must play his card well. Now, to be a king, you must have people. To be a king, you must have a royal lineage. I'm heading somewhere. Why you must have breakthrough. Now, how can this David, one, the scholars say he was a son out of wedlock. That is why even when Samuel came to anoint his brothers, the father forgot about him. He didn't know he had a small boy called David. I imagine being a son where even your own father cannot remember you exist. Until the prophet said, there is one more. We will stand here until that one more comes. I know I'm heading somewhere. I don't know if you are getting me. Everybody forgot about David. All his victories. There are people here. You have had victories. You have had battles. You have seen God. But no human being has seen what you saw. No one has evidence that God has done it. So God prepared a platform where people will see. And he brought Goliath. And then God through the father. Hey, tell us this old boy, take this food to your brothers. Mungu anajua kupanga vitu. Ay, 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 ay. Ilikuwa mpango mkali, pastor. Mpango mkali. This boy, eh, ajui ni mungu, akahenda. And God made it sure that when David arrives, Goliath will be abusing Israel. When David arrived, he had Goliath abusing Israel, telling them, choose among you one person. Bring him forth. If he can beat me, we become your slaves. If I can beat him, you remain our slaves. This young man had, I love David, say breakthrough. Uh -uh, say breakthrough. Then David goes and asks people, who is this man that has the guts to abuse the people that belong to God? And they give him a testimony. You know what, David? Hey, that man has been fighting for over 40 years. But any man who will finish this guy, there are three things. Breakthrough ushers you to provision. <laughs> Number one, he will marry the daughter of the king. Ay, ay. Number two, number two, the family will be exempted from tax. You know what's happening in Kenya now? We are, we are busy, we are busy discussing the finance bill. So imagine one bill. When you can't see a leo, kishine kitu. Mambia finance bill kwako, haifanyiki kwa nyumba zingine. Lakini hii muko sawa. The boy said, I'm interested. You mean I will marry from the king, king's royalty? Yes. And I will have my man, my family, Pastor Fukon. Yes, I am ready. The moment Goliath died, now, number one, by marrying the daughter of, of Saul, is connecting David to royalty. When you, marry a, when you marry a princess, you become a prince by default. So... <laughs> Ah, 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 you didn't get me. 
So by marrying the daughter of Saul, David by default becomes a prince. And a prince is entitled to the throne. Are you there? Number two, then if you want to be a king, you must have people. So how did David get people? The moment Goliath died, the whole village erupted. Women, women are powerful. They erupted and they began to sing. David has killed tens of thousands, but Saul has killed only thousands. That day, he won over the heart of people so he can become a king. I love breakthrough. I love breakthrough. I pray in the name of Jesus. May there be a scenario that only you can handle. And when you handle it, may it introduce you to your destiny in Jesus' name. I love breakthrough. This season of his presence is a season of breakthrough. Breakthrough. You have been toiling no one has seen. Only, only sheep. But that day, one day's event, people began to sing a song. Women composed a song. They sang for David. One day's event. Can I say this? Breakthrough is powerful. You can sing one, sing as you are here. You can just sing one song. And the whole nation sings your name. And the whole world sings your name. Breakthrough. I refuse laboring for nothing. I refuse. And I pray for a platform. When I kill Goliath, God bring people. That is my prayer. Let them see I have killed. I want to pray for you here. From today, when you win, let there be witnesses. Watch out to us, and you will eat to Nimungo Mem's idea. And you will see, yeah, yeah. Let, let people witness. God made sure they are our witnesses. Ah, uh-uh, is somebody in the house? A season of rain is a season of breakthrough. One thing can happen in this assembly, one thing that can make all Eldoret run towards this place. You didn't get me. Breakthrough. Just one thing can happen. Pastor, one Sunday, something can just happen here. And oh my God. I am about to do something that every year that here shall tickle. I will do something. The ear shall shake. I pray in this season, in your place of work, in your family, in your village, in your locality, may there be a situation that only you have the power to handle. And when you handle it, when you do it, may it open a door for you. There must be a distinction between you who carries God and the other man there who does not carry God. A singer sang and say, when I carry God, uh, as you finish, when I carry God, I carry everything. That's what I want. Uh, uh, somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. Can I finish? Do I still have time? Pastor, you help me. This thing is sweet. I might go on all. Now you will appear me, me. Breakthrough. I'm now on breakthrough. When breakthrough happens, I want to help somebody here. I am now handling breakthrough. I have said five things. I'm now on breakthrough. When breakthrough happens, you must do three things. In your season of breakthrough, and it's a breakthrough, then you say, three things I must do. In your season of breakthrough, Do three things. Number one, invest wisely. Invest wisely. Kuna waimbaji wengi Kenya. Mungu aliwasaidia. Wakaimba wimbo moja. Papu wakatrend. Pesa ndio hizo. Na ujinga wow. 
na upuzi wao they failed to invest wisely can i go deeper breakthrough might never happen twice there were no two goliaths there was only one goliath if david never used his chance he would never have won the hearts of people and i'm helping you there are things god has brought to you chances might never happen again so be wise when you see a door of breakthrough be wise when you enter into breakthrough be wise number 1 invest invest in three things number 1 invest in god the biggest problem we have when people are in their stardom they forget who blessed them there the biggest problem we have with preachers singers even you at your workplace the moment you are in your stardom the moment you feel you are now there many people forget who picked them and blessed them there in the moment of your breakthrough invest in god i always have one principle if the baby came through prayer then the baby shall be kept through prayer you didn't get me if you got that job through prayer then that job shall be kept by prayer if you got that husband through prayer then he will be kept by prayer the problem is sometimes in the happiness of the blessing in the enjoyment of the blessing we forget the methodology what brought me here that thing that brought me here is the same thing that will sustain me here in them at when you have a breakthrough naongea na watu hapa ndani wengine mmesahau ni nani alikusaidia mmesahau if ni mungu alikusaidia is the same same god who is able to put you there to sustain you there my son kama ni mungu alikuleta hapa is the same same god so when you have got any problem don't go to man go to the person uh, I, I, I was good in maths and i would do mathematics nikisha kwama naenda kwa mwalimu nimekwama ananiambia go back to the formula there are people in this meeting i am sending you back to the formula ulianzia wapi go back go back to the method if it was fasting go back and fast if it was giving go back and give if it was holiness go back and live a holy life go back to the formula invest in god number 2 invest in yourself wacha kujinyima ah ah when you have breakthrough kama ni financial breakthrough jipeleke out invest in yourself kula vizuri kuna watu ni wachoyo mpaka ni wachoyo kwao they are mean unto themselves mungu alusaidie sana if 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 god has thrown you into abundance wacha kujifinya finya invest in yourself go back to school add another certificate add a diploma if you have money kama ni pesa invest in yourself the biggest problem is sometimes we fail to invest in ourselves ye mengia number 3 invest in people we had one man in the bible who was a crew a shrewd worker very shrewd in the bible and then when the master came akamfuta kazi akamwambia nda kufuta kazi before afutwe kazi this man called all the debtors he called them all of them well then ningapi 
lipa tano. Wewe ni ngapi? Mbili, lipa moja. So he made sure ameweka mfukoni all those who are having debts. So when he was sacked, he landed somewhere. <laughs> yeah, when he was sacked, people fought for him. Ai bwana msa ni mzuri sana. How is how how be wise invest in people when you are in your stardom pull somebody else when you are up there shika mwingine shika mwingine shika mwingine in the time of your battle can, can i say this in most cases during our battle we have no strength to fight the people who will help you are the people you have invested in kuna watu nimelea wakisikia nimegonjeka maombi inatumwa kutumwa kutumwa voice voice messages eh? ama ni voice whatever oh papa leba hata paka na tanks zinatumwa tanks zinatumwa kwa simu people are pray why you invested in them when you invest in people you are creating an army that will fight your battle pastor Let's invest in people. Uh-uh, are you learning something? Are you learning something church? If you if you are hearing and learning something, say a better amen hour. Invest in people. Pastor invest in people. Invest in people. There's one day a guy tried to play with me. I didn't utter a word. Sons. Sons spoke on my behalf. Pastor, he is vita yako. Ewenda mlimani uombe. Tuachie vita. The Bible says in the book of Psalms, sons content with the enemies at the gates. Blessed is a man whose quiver is full of them. When you have people you have invested in, you are safe. Kama wewe ni mzazi na umelea watu wengi, you are safe. When you are tired, you can be lifted up by people. Invest in people. Number two, During breakthrough, and then I'll pray. During breakthrough, number two, Make the right connections. Make the right connections <laughs> yeah? ulikuwa na kiosk sasa uko na supermarket tafuta watu wengine wa supermarket wakuambie hii ligi umeingia ndani tunawapaleta aje yeah? my son pastor buire You have a mega church. Pak wako na three, four friends, five of mega church. Wakwambie hii mega hii. Hapa hii ndio hekima. Hii na hii na hii. Invest. Connect. Well, connection. Connection. You are a singer. You have a star, I'm a singer. You have a stardom ume hit please tafuta watu can i say this there is no new battle on earth hakuna vita vipya every battle you are facing somebody else fought it before you you didn't get me so it is you just to know who has gone ahead of me that has experience in what i'm facing who has gone ahead of me we always have foreigners even jesus needed one you didn't get me even jesus being god the son of god he needed john can i say this those who have gone ahead of you are the ones who introduce you in the new realm Jesus Angus if if Jesus said himself I am the son of God wangasema huyu ni mmoja wa wana wana anajisemea kwa nini anajisemea kama yeye ni nani 
There was to be somebody neutral who was to introduce Jesus and say, you know what? This one is the son of God. That was John. Even you, in the area of your career, lazima tuwe na mtu pale juu. Ukigrow hivi, lazima kuwe na mtu aseme ambie watu unajua nini? Umse ameingia kwa ligi yetu. There must be somebody. The biggest problem we have in the era of stardom, we think we are the ones. Nisisi. Mido Mubiri, I'm now the anointed doctor, prophet, apostle. I close my ear to every other voice. And many people break through instead of helping them to their destiny has killed them. Breakthrough can kill. If you don't know how to handle blessings, they can kill. If you don't know how to handle anointing, it can kill you. If you don't know how to handle the Holy Ghost, it can kill. If you think I'm lying, go and ask Ananiah and Sapphira. They didn't know what they were playing with. It finished them. And there are many believers we have close an ear. They are people who have gone ahead of us. They might look irrelevant, but they are important. Today I'm sending you back. In the area of your operation, ask yourself, is here somebody who can hold my hand in this breakthrough moment and help me go in the next dispensation? Hallelujah. Si tu inuke juu tusimame. Aa, weka koma ni usimisi kesho. Nikisema yote mtakuja kesho. 